Thank you for watching Syrian Eats. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you can get the latest recipes. Our recipe today is a delicious homemade Indian naan bread. I'm gonna show you how to make the dough step-by-step step, and then I'm gonna show you also how to make the garlic naan. Let's get started. Start out by adding half a cup of plain yogurt. Then add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then I have here half a teaspoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of sugar. Then I added two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna start mixing it up and then slowly adding water as we need it. Start out by adding a little bit of water. I started out with one fourth of a cup and then keep going up. You're probably not gonna need more than half a cup of water. And now if you do add too much water, you can always add a little bit more flour. You want the dough to be a non-sticky consistency where it doesn't stick to the bowl. I've made this recipe several times and each time it did take a different amount of water and that's why I didn't set a certain amount. Just start out little and then add as you need it because the yogurt sometimes has different amounts of water in it and then also sometimes the flour, every type of flour is different. Also wanted to mention this recipe can be made with or without yeast. This is what your dough is gonna look like when it's ready. Go ahead and oil your hands and oil a dish and we're gonna let it rest for about two hours at room temperature. Spread some flour on a surface and get your dough out. This is what my dough looks like. It looks like it has softened beautifully. It's not gonna rise because we didn't add very much yeast. It's not supposed to be a yeasty type of dough. Mold your dough like this, and then we're gonna cut it. I cut it into eight pieces, but you can cut this anywhere between um, eight to 10 pieces. It just depends on how big or small you want your bread to be. And then each piece that we cut up, form it into a little ball and set it aside. You want to spread them out just like this, not too thick and not too thin, and uh, try to get either a square or a circle shape. Now, since our dough is ready, for garlic naan, go ahead and add two to three tablespoons of butter. As soon as your butter starts melting and bubbling just like this, I added one tablespoon of garlic paste. You want to just leave it on for about a, one minute until everything melts together and then shut off your heat. Heat up your skillet and pat down just a little bit of oil on each side of the bread. Over medium heat, add your dough to the skillet. And then I'm just touching the dough with a little bit of water while it's still on the skillet before I flip it. When your bread has browned up nicely, Take it off the heat and store it either in a bread bag or underneath a towel so it can stay warm and moist. Now for the garlic naan, while it's still hot after your bread is ready, brush the butter and garlic on the bread and then sprinkle with cilantro.
and then keep repeating the process. And your naan is ready to serve. Look how soft, moist, and fluffy these naans are. I hope you enjoy making these at home. Thanks for watching.